Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about introduction to electronics, electronic emission theory and electric circuit components. Before we proceed, let's quickly look at the learning objective. At the end of this class, students should be able to define emission, know what is electronic emission, know the methods of emission, also what is electric circuit, the component of electric circuit, know the difference in series and parallel electric circuit diagram. My name is Akian Ribambo. So let's move into the class. What is emission? Emission is the display, displacement of or dislodgement of electrons from a material with the intention of directing such electrons to a predetermined position or object. The basic electron, electronic emission of course when it's sunlight, sunlight, electrons collision, electromagnetic field or and surface bombardment are used to release electrons from the metal surface to the vacuum tube. Then what is electronic emission? Electronic emission is the process, process of, of liberating or em emitting free electrons from metal surface to the vacuum tubes. A vacuum tube is an empty tube in which the air has been completely removed from the for the purpose of storing liquid. Having this understanding, so let's move on to the method of emission. There are four principal methods of liberating electrons from the surface of metal, and they are one, the thermonic emission. This thermonic emission is the method by which free electrons, free electrons are emitted from the surface of the metal by application of heat. Another name for thermonic emission is primary emission, and this is when it is applied to a metal, and in this process, it the activity, the movement of the electrons, whereby releasing them from the metal. Number two method is the photoelectric emission. This is the method in which free electrons are emitted from the surface of metal from the surface of metal by the application of light or ray of light and this is commonly used for solar panel and we are talking about sun rail here then number three we talk about the cold cathroid emission or field emission this is the method by which Free electrons are emitted from the surface of a metal by the application of magnetic field or electric field. It is used in the operation of electrons microscope. And the fourth is circular emission. This, this method is by which electrons are emitted from the surface of the metal by the application of kinetic energy. That is talking about energy in motion. A steam of moving electrons is called electrons. And above all mentioned method are the major process by which emission electric electronics is emitted from the surface of a metal. And from there we'll move on to electric circuit. What is electric circuit? It is a closed path or long loop through which electric current flows. There are basic components that make up the flow of electric current poss possible, and they are one, source, which is the battery, resistor, which is a component that, in that resists the flow of electric current, and three, we have meter, which is an indicator to measure the flow of current, and four, indicator, and that is the path through which the current flows. And five, switch, which is the control of the circuit. And to have better of understanding of what we are talking about, let's quickly look at the function or the purpose of each of these components. One source. This is the this is electromagnetic force provided the force that push 
the free electrons in a conductor the source may be battery and it is measured in voltage and the diagram you can see the battery and that is how the it will the that is the symbols in the diagram and number two we'll be talking about the resistor this is opposed the flow of electric current in a circuit resistor convert electrical energy to heat energy and the third and there are two type of meter we have a meter this is the instrument used to measure the amount of current in an electric circuit current in an electric circuit and the second one is voltmeter this is an instrument that is used to measure the amount of volts in a circuit and the fourth one is indicator inductor this device is used to produce an alternating current in a circuit it is made up of a coil of good electrical conductor the unit for inductor is area h and from the diagram you can see transformer is part of inductor and so also so many other components here so the fifth one which is the switch and call it switches this ah, this is a device that is used to make and break a circuit that is the flow of the circuit in a safe way cutting and joining a circuit are uh, a circuit are uh, referred to as breaking and making of a circuit and when we talk about switch we are talking about control this is what we use to control the flow of current as to open it or to close it and from there we quickly look at full electric diagram and there are two types of electric circuits. One, we have series, series electric circuits, and the second one is parallel electric circuit. And the diagram on the right shows that a series, the bulb in series connected in end to end, meaning that if there's anything that happens in the flow, that means the whole operation is jeopardized, meaning that the whole operation will stop. But in parallel electric circuit, the bulbs are connected, are connected in parallel, meaning that if there is a if there is a break in one of the bulb or go bonds, that means the other one will still continue to operate on like the series connection. And to this sense, we have come to the end of the class and show that we have really understand what we have we have learned today let's quickly look at what we have achieved today at the end of the class we have been able to define the emission and we now know what is electron emission likewise we can now state likewise we can now state the method of emission which are four in numbers then we, move, we can equally define electric circuit and list the five main components of electric circuit and likewise differentiate between series and parallel circuits. And to show the understanding of what we have done today, let's quickly answer this question. What is emission? Mention the method of emission. Three, what is electric circuit? Four, List the component of an electric circuit. Five, draw a series electric circuit diagram. If you have answered this question, you can send the answers to, the, to your teacher or send it to Jimo at